Hello, good morning. Welcome to business. My name is Daryl Kwao. Ghanaian importers and traders who ply their trade in China are on high alert as the novel coronavirus spreads. The death toll has climbed to 26 with over 800 confirmed cases in six countries across three continents. This has prompted Ghana's Ministry of Health to issue a public alert on the virus that is airborne and transmitted from humans to humans. The business community here in Ghana is also on high alert. President of the Ghana Union of Traders Association, Dr. Joseph Obeng, has told Joy Business his outfit has begun a sensitization program to contain the situation. We have been discussing. Um, you saw our members' meeting, and the meeting is on how to prevent this um, from happening to any of the, uh, our uh, traders. Um, this, uh, this is very serious because it's also uh, an airborne and disease. But fortunately, you know, for our containers, because of the fumigation that um, started last year, um, our containers are secured from this problem. And when it comes to the entry point, that's the airport and all that, that's where maybe government have to take precaution. The Ministry of Health have to come in and take precaution by um, disinfecting the place on a regular basis and also find some a mechanism to scrutinize people who are coming in um, with the machines like the Ebola system that um, to check on all this. For us, um, once um, it doesn't reach maybe an epidemic level for government to tell us not to travel, we will still be traveling. But that will also mean that um, some information be given to us. So we seek information from the Ghana Health Services. Um, as to what to do and what not to do, like um, what happened during the Ebola time, so people would know that maybe you have to, um, you don't have to do handshake, or after that you have to clean your hands and all that. We seek those information. We are taking precaution because we have to also um, be careful not to um, even go and bring um, disease to, to this country. But we should also know that it's not only from um, the traders only. In the wake of the uh, year of return, the efforts of the president where so many um, um, foreigners are now taking Ghana as the preferred destination for uh, tourism. And people will be coming here and all that. That's why we should even see this as a um, thing that we should do uh, daily rather than an ad, ad hoc one that we, we should um, try especially the disinfection because at the port because of the fumigation exercise that have taken off last year all our containers are being taken care of um, from this airborne related diseases and then um, we think the shift should come to the airports where the human traffic is there the National Insurance Commission, NIC, has been given reasons for the implementation of the new motor insurance database policy. The insurance commissioner has told Joy Business that the implementation, which began on the 1st of January this year, is aimed at checking increasing number of fake motor insurance tickets. We've been interacting with the Commissioner General for the NIC, Justice Yao Fori, on what has necessitated this particular move and how best it could deal with the scourge of fake motor insurance in the country. We realized that we had a lot of fake insurances on the market. The public couldn't tell which stickers were, were genuine. The police couldn't tell which stickers were genuine. So we needed to find a solution. We also realized that most insurance companies were also underpricing their policies and when they do so, and there's a claim, legitimate claims, they find it difficult to also um, pay claims. To what extent will this initiative help improve the situation, especially when it comes to motor insurance? Justice Alfori has been explaining to Joy Business. So, statistically, we believe that about 40% of the vehicles on, the, on our roads are not insured. So, and, and motor insurance is the biggest line of business so far as general business uh, or general insurance is concerned. So if we are able to actually uh, work on this and do it well, we believe that um, it will result in a higher insurance penetration. But as it stands now, we're being told by the NIC that this particular motor insurance database will go a long way to also deal with the matter of undercutting and underpricing 
among several insurance companies in the country. I'm Charles Aite for Joy Business. And that's it for Business Sports is up next.